नमस्कार दोस्तों वेलकम टू एस सी एल टेक सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिजेबल योर इंटरनल की बोर्ड मे बी योर की बोर्ड इज नॉट वर्किंग और मे बी देर इज वन स्पेसिफिक की दैट इज प्रेसिंग कंटिन्यूसली सो यू वॉन्ट टू डिजेबल योर इंटरनल की बोर्ड एंड यूज द एक्सटर्नल की बोर्ड एज योर प्राइमरी इन की बोर्ड सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू टू मेथड्स बाय विच यू कैन डू इट वन इज अ टेम्परेरी डिजेबलिंग द की बोर्ड and the second will be permanently you can disable your internal keyboard so let's start the video okay so the first method is the temporary method so to do that you go to search and search here device manager okay so this is device manager make sure you run it as administrator okay so you are an admin of your account okay so now in the device manager you see the section keyboard section okay so you have to go there and right now i don't connected any external keyboard just my internal keyboard okay so this is our my internal keyboard standard ps2 keyboard so you just click on right click and click on uh, properties okay so in the properties uh, driver section update the driver click on update the driver click on browse my computer for the driver and here uh, let me pick a list from the available drivers okay and now you just uncheck this show compatible hardware okay so and now go to any one of uh, the driver manufacturer you can test it one by one and uh, select any one keyboard and uh, here as you can see let me select one uh, from different manufacturer okay so the purpose here is to uh, select that uh, driver that is not compatible with uh, this uh, keyboard so that it will not run okay so if we click on this and uh, as you can see i will just select this or uh, maybe microsoft as you can see there are different different options okay so you you choose one of the drivers and see that which one work for you okay so let me select this and click on next and now it is saying that installing this device driver is not recommended because windows cannot verify it and it is not compatible with your hardware and that is our uh, goal so it will not be compatible with our device and that's why it will not work okay so we just click on close and now it will say to re restart okay so we have to restart the system and then we can sell see that after restarting it will not work okay so this was the method let's restart it okay so that was the first method guys uh, for disabling your keyboard temporary but if you want to disable your keyboard temp uh, permanently so this is a, a very advanced method and this is 100% this will 100% work so for that you need to open command prompt okay and for this in this method uh, if you want to disable it permanently what we are going to do uh, we just uh, go to the keyboard section and in the uh, click on properties and in the driver section if we see the driver details it is uh, as you can see this i8042 port dot sys so we what we do we disable this service okay so if you disable the service then our internal keyboard will not work and after a few, few time i will show you uh, by connecting external keyboard so the command is you need to type sc okay sc space and uh, the the device and you can you can also take the help uh, sc and uh, question mark okay so we have to configure it okay so you need to type sc space config okay and the service name uh, in this case the port number so the port number as you can see is i uh, let me show you so we are going to disable this so the the service name is i8042.pure port so i8042 prt okay so this is our service name and uh, the startup type if we can also help and as you can see the start type we here so uh, click on so type start and what we have to do equal to and you can see all the sec, uh, options so we would disable it okay 
so press uh, type disable okay and uh, now press enter so what it say we have to give a little space okay after equal to give it a small space and then disable okay disabled press enter so now as you can see uh, the the answer is change service configuration success okay so right now if i show you it is working but when we reboot it now let's see uh, it will work or not okay so let's reboot this uh, laptop and let's see that uh, we can uh, use our internal keyboard okay, or not so we, okay uh, so here is see. our laptop and we have just uh, option on cell restart so let's restart it and let's see uh, that we can use our internal keyboard or not so after uh, it is uh, restarting i have uh, my external keyboard right here Okay, so our desktop has come and let's see that we can use our extra internal keyboard or not. So as you can see, let me show you. So if I press this, it is working, but let's wait just a few minutes. Just wait let few minutes and after that uh, it will not work. So let's see. So see, now if I click this, it will not work and if I press this see it is not working i am pressing this uh, as you can see you can see uh, just a few seconds ago uh, this was working uh, after the reboot but now as you can see it is not working none of the key is working if i press any key it is not responding anyway so that's how you disable your internal uh, keyboard and now we have our external keyboard right here so let's insert it in the port and see let's see that we can use our external keyboard or not okay so we just uh, take this and uh, plug it in so see see it is detected and let's see if we can use it or not so if i press run see it is working and in the device manager if we go so it is also coming okay and as you can see here the standard ps2 keyboard is showing the yellow mark and we have our external keyboard and we can use it okay so so that's how you can disable it guys one thing i want to show uh, tell you in some cases the dell touchpad is also not working because uh, this this is standard ps2 keyboard and this dell touchpad these both are uh, using the same uh, driver okay the i8042 prt okay so in some cases the your dell touchpad is also not work but many cases only the keyboard will not work so in this if you want you can also connect an external uh, mouse and then you can use the your laptop okay so this was the video so that was the video guys that's how you see how you can disable your internal keyboard so if and uh, if you want to re-enable your uh, internal keyboard uh, comment me uh, in the section i will create another video or you can um, see it in the description or in the i button you can see how to re-enable your internal keyboard okay so that was the video guys i hope this video helps you and solve your problem uh, of uh, your keyboard that is continuously pressing one key most of the cases this was the problem so if this video help you please like this video share it with your friends and last but not least guys you can subscribe uh, scl tech if you want more related videos on windows client troubleshooting windows client 10 11 and uh, windows server i create videos on windows server also uh, networking virtualization basically if you are in it admin part you can subscribe this channel or if you want windows related solutions so thank you so much for uh, this video guys if you like this video please like a video so that youtube also understand that this video helps you and it will show to more people and suggest all so thank you so much for giving your valuable time guys 
thank you very much please comment uh, that this your problem is solved so that i know that this video solve your problem thank you so much